friends, Heidi here from Rain Country, God is good, all the time. And I'm here today for another FAQ, and of course this one is about vinegar, and I actually have two vinegar FAQs to shoot today. And so this is just one of them, and today it's about how much sugar should I add to my vinegar when I'm making it. Well, it's going to depend on how much fruit you're putting in, whether or not you're using straight juice, and how sweet the items are you're putting in, how much natural sugar is already in there. So right here what I have are two half gallon jars of the pulp from the grapes I pressed out yesterday to get my wine started. This is my own homegrown grapes. Now these grapes are very, very sour. There's not much sugar content in them. So for these, even though I have a lot of fruit pulp in there, I did still go ahead and add at least a half cup of sugar for each one. A lot of times when I'm doing fruit vinegars like this in half gallon jars, if I've got quite a bit of fruit, and I know that fruit already has quite a bit of sugar content already, I might only put a quarter cup. Now you can put up to a whole cup, but I don't recommend doing that right from the start when you're talking half gallons. If you're doing a whole gallon, yes. but. The problem with putting a whole cup of sugar into your vinegar right from the start is just like if you saw any of my wine making, putting too much sugar at the start can either slow it way down so it takes a long time to get started or may never even start to bubble at all. So overfeeding your ferments can kill them or slow them way down. So I don't recommend going over a half cup, especially if you're putting a lot of fruit in there. Now, if you're making an herbal vinegar of any kind, I have quite a few. I do a lot of floral vinegars, as you can see in these images. When I first started making them, I was only putting a quarter cup, but now I always put a half cup in those because there's little to no sugar content in your herbs, and you have to have sugar in your vinegar for it to ferment and actually turn to vinegar. You, you can't do that without some kind of carbohydrate. So that means you can't use stevia or monk fruit extract or anything like that in order to make vinegar. It's not gonna hurt to add those things, but you're still going to need that same amount of sugar in there. So remember, if it's sugar, you're trying to avoid. And sugar is one of those things that you need to make vinegar or wine. You can't make those without it. Now, a lot of times, you yes, you can make alcohol from just potatoes, but what is it in the potatoes? It is the carbohydrates that it's working through and turning into your alcohol or into your vinegar, depending on what it is you're making but there has to be at least a certain amount, but again, too much right from the start can kill it. Now, if you're wanting a good strong vinegar, and let's say you're making something like this where I've got really tart grapes here, I can add another quarter cup to up to a half cup after one week. I don't recommend, I did initially in some old videos, I don't recommend waiting to two weeks because I noticed that there's kind of a, if you just go by those days, you might have already hit that point where it's too far into it. It depends on where your vinegar is in the process. So now if I'm going to add any more sugar or whether it be to my homemade wine or my homemade vinegar, I don't add it past the one week point. One week is usually about where I do that. But really what you need to go by rather than days, the amount of days, is how bubbly and active it is. If your vinegar is super active and it's been that way for two to three days, that's a good time to go ahead and add more sugar if you're gonna do that same thing. Applies to your wine. So I hope that helps answer that question and any more questions you have on vinegar making or anything else for that matter, go ahead and put them down below and I can use that to do another frequently asked question video down the road. And also don't forget to check out my different playlists. I'll be linking down below the FAQ playlist as well as the one on vinegar making and the one on wine making in case you're interested. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.